Fayette Station Road. Exploring Fayette Station Road, at Fayetteville, West Virginia, is like traveling back in time, before the new River Gorge Bridge was built, the road consists of hairpin turns that wind down to the bottom of the gorge, across a narrow bridge and up the other side. By 1905, 13 towns sprang up between Fayette Station Road and Thurman 15 miles upstream, about 1 per mile. Many of these towns were located in deep ravines that afforded direct access to the coal through the hillsides, allowing mine coal to be dropped or conveyed downhill to railway lines at the valley floor. Many of these encampments were set up as company towns, and when their mines closed, the towns vanished. Some of these towns was Nuttallburg, Prudence, Red Ash, Rush Run, Red Star, Sewell, Stone Cliff, Sugar Creek, Sunnyside, Thayer, Thurmond, Turkey Knob, Whipple, Kamor and Wingrove. Between the 1870s and the 1950s, West Virginia coal contributed significantly to the industrialization of the United States as it fed the nation's trains, factories, and fleets. We are coming near the bottom of the gorge. You will come upon a set of sea and old railroad tracks. In 1873, the C&O Railway opened this rugged wilderness and carried coal out of the gorge, to ports in Virginia and cities in the Midwest. Also passenger service was started. Railroad passengers would onboard the train at Fayette Station, and would be ferried up a 3.5-mile road to the town of Fayetteville. There was a hotel built in 1893, by Judge Brazzi, called the Altamont, for railroad passenger guests including automotive tycoon, Henry Ford. Ford was a stakeholder in some of the coal mines in the area. The Altamont was one of the finest hotels in Fayette County and has one of the largest veranda, wraparound porches, in the whole county, in its day. The Altamont Hotel still stands today, but is closed to the public. We are now crossing across the silver bridge named after Tony Hunsaker. The late Tony Hunsaker was an Air Force veteran and police chief of Fayetteville, West Virginia for 38 years. In his younger days, he was a nationally ranked professor boxer. In 1960, he was Muhammad Ali's first professional opponent, after Ali won the gold medal in the Olympics. Hunsaker went the distance but Muhammad Ali was declared the winner. If you will look to your right, you will see the New River Gorge Bridge, spanning New River. After crossing the bridge and turning right, you will come upon a small bridge, on the right, leading to Fayette Station Landing. This is a public fishing area and launching area for white water rafting boats kite. We are now traveling back up the Fayette Station Road towards US Route 19 into Fayetteville, about 3 and 1 half miles. We are nearing the end of our journey. Along the way, you will see some beautiful waterfalls on your left. Some visitors say the waterfalls were the highlights of their trip. The park service asks for you not to park on bridges or block the road to view the falls. There are pull-off spaces for your car or motorcycle. I hope you have enjoyed our video about Fayette.